Yeah, this deck cost $120, but is it any good? Because here's the thing. This is just every single season pass card in Marvel Snap from the past year. Because Marvel Snap just had its big one year anniversary. The game came out 12 months ago. We've gotten one card of the season pass each month for $10. You add all those into a deck and you've got this pile of stuff which clearly you know cards like nimrod have zero other synergies in this deck phoenix force zero other synergies in this deck they obviously aren't all meant to be played together but i wanted to know what would happen if they were and <laughs> listen i i literally cannot believe this this feels like bs i actually had a positive win rate with this deck through the first 15 games i went eight and seven for plus five cubes now a big big part of that is just loki you can put loki into almost any deck and you're gonna win some games but there were some crazy moments outside of that too with like random destroy effects enabling you know phoenix forces and nimrods it turns out when you have a pile of cards that can independently do things that are so powerful occasionally locations and scenarios will line up where you just find ways to win then you've got like the loki's and the elsa's of the world that are just really powerful one-off effects anyway they can help carry you sometimes as well so of course you should never play this deck this is obviously just a meme this is just for fun but it was a pretty cool exercise to see just how good something like this can still feel because of these independently powerful cards even when the deck doesn't really make sense you can still go positive through 15 games as you're about to see Okay, decent little set of stuff. Oh, Valley of the Hand, man. If only we had a way to destroy in this set of 12 cards. <laughs> Nimrod is just such an idiot in this deck, by the way. We have to get, like, the craziest location rolls or something because most of the locations destroy stuff early. You don't even have a chance. Uh, we need, like, Death's Domain, I guess. Okay, Monster Island. Not great for us either. Yeah, let's start building an Elsa lane already, I guess. It would be awesome if Dakin were card four. You can maybe do like a Ghost Spider Dakin sort of thing. That's nice because... <gasps> oh my god. Dude, Loki's actually insane here, I think. I think we go ahead and play it now too, don't we? Like, we don't need to wait. Like, our opponent's cards have to be better than ours. We just have to. Like, ours aren't any good. I mean, I think Black Panther's decent. I think Dakin's okay. I could actually still play the Dakin first for the record. Um, it's not going to get, like, doubled up, but it's... If I think it's better than my opponent's cards, or if I think I have enough time... Yeah, I, I think actually it's fine, because it replaces itself, so I don't lose anything on the Loki. I think I'll still be able to dump my hand on turns 5 and 6 for the most part. You know, I'm particularly looking for, like, Death and Null, I think would be the high rolls here. We're not gonna put Loki there yet, right? That's too early. The opponent's gonna get a bunch of garbage in Valley of the Hand. Like the hood's coming back. I wonder if they remember that. The Bucky might come back. They might accidentally throw here on Valley of the Hand a little bit if they're not careful. They're gonna get a tiny Deadpool as well. The demon might save them a little bit on power, but they may, they may try to fill it up next turn, I guess, so they don't accidentally uh, Valley of the Hand themselves too hard. Death is good. And then these three, well, no, we don't want Nova Reser. No, the Nova's the, actually the bait. We don't want the Nova yet. I think we just do this. These three get resurrected here. So we get to lock their power in with Venom and then we also get to res them. That also just leaves us some flexibility next turn. Yeah, I think I like this better. Okay. Um, that's totally fine. Yeah. Your Deadpool's at six. Okay, so they're gonna have a tiny Valley of the Hand, hopefully, and we're gonna have a big one, hopefully. Because we get Monster and, uh, and Dakin in there. I guess, does Dakin reveal again, too? We can actually destroy his shark. Oh! I forgot about Lamentus one! Oh, no. Oh, but it's okay. Okay, it's okay. We still did awesome. I totally forgot Lamentus one counts as well. What?! Nimrod?! No way. The, 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 dude, Lamentus one goes about the end. It hits the Nimrod. 
I'm losing my mind right now, dude. I'm actually, dude, dude, I, dude, I, this is actually crazy. I cannot right now. Uh, the Bucky's not enough to like beat this stuff, right? So we, we just play for the Nimrod, right? Like we just play for Nimrod. Um, 11 here is 15, 17. Death here. Let me just Carnage here, right? I mean, we can put in a Bucky for like, ty well, actually, I guess Nova's better, isn't it? We want that Nova. <sighs> yeah, so Nimrod here, Nimrod here. That's 15 plus two. That's plenty. Yeah, we win. Okay, dude, I forgot Lamentus one counts in Valley of the Hand. I mean, it still worked out for us somehow better than the opponent. I mean, they put more kind of junk in their pool. We didn't have as much junk in our pool. This is like the craziest game I've ever played, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Nimrod getting shang chi randomly has got to be the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is so silly, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude, what on earth? Okay, uh, yeah, Loki is good, man. Loki makes us win games, so let's play Loki. Rock is actually... Not necessarily bad for us if we were to hit an Elsa, right? Rock could be good. Uh, we got a good threes. This might be a game where I Loki on four. Just because I get that shard in hand anyway off the Daken. Like, usually it's not really worth much difference. Just get better cards faster. But uh, with a shard specifically. Ooh. Okay. Again, that's actually not bad in an Elsa world. Uh... Hear me out. If I destroy this and then I Phoenix Force it, uh, that's insane with Modok, right? Like, totally insane. But I don't want the Widow's Bike getting destroyed. Yeah, no, this is insane, dude. Actual Phoenix Force synergies. I spotted this a little late, but I, 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 this kind of looks nuts. This sort of looks insane. Uh, okay, so I guess we can like attack this power of the opponent here. I mean this can this can move anyway, so we have like ultimate flexibility regardless. Iron Lad, okay, so they still have Jeff to move out, so they're not like done here. But worth noting. Now we just really need to stack one other position, which I guess I guess that's mid maybe? Panther plus Modok is 16. Might be nice to do that here as so the opponent has to at least think about this. I mean, th we know this carries wherever it's at, right? So it's really just about, you know, where does this go? What, what does it play towards? The opponent has this kind of chill nine here. There might be something sneaky with like a Modok next turn or something. I'm not really sure, but I, I think Black Panther's fine and just finish on the Modok. That way we don't have to rely on a weird top deck. We know we have, you know, kind of two eight power plays, which seems a bit more consistently reliable. So I think here, like I move Daken and Modok here, right? That puts us at 11. The opponent has this cheeky nine if the Jeff moves away. We're up here. Daken, of course, flips here. I have priority. There is Shang-Chi risk type stuff. I mean, God knows who knows what's in their deck with Man Thing, Iron Lad, you know. Definitely feels like there could be Zabu Shang-Chi stuff that wouldn't shock me at all. I don't know. I think I think I think this kind of place for Jeff moving. You know, there is that risk if Jeff doesn't move. Well, I guess if Jeff doesn't move, the, the nebula's growing again, so we're still fine. We're 13 to 12. Yeah, I I think this is fine. Let's try this. It, it definitely can lose, but there's some cool stuff you can do here. Is that a Shang-Chi? Not a shang chi man dude if so they're geniuses bro geniuses shadow king no oh that's fine no shadow king doesn't matter we still win right let's freaking go dude oh my god dude didn't even need the freaking loki the murder world clutching it with dakin and demodok dude the opponent has got to be like, why do they have Black Panther? What's the Black Panther doing in here, man? I don't know either, dude. I don't know either. Okay. Um, Dakin, Modok's actually a nice little pair here. 
one of the few pairs we actually have in this deck, which is nice. Um, Hit Monkey Daken is like a Silver Surfer line, right? So there's some stuff happening. We, you know, again, not maybe the ideal <laughs> setup for any of these given cards, but not the worst. I think we can totally just slam the Daken here. Uh, Nebula is a card we would prefer to get down earlier rather than later if we wanted to play Nebula this turn. Kind of depends on our curve, though. We do have some fours and stuff. I wouldn't mind playing. You know, Phoenix Force is pretty good. We'll just chill for now. Oh, Loki. Um, I, uh, yeah, I mean, I think Loki's going to be better than this random assortment of stuff. The Modoc is not worth it with a shard. Loki has some potentially great plays, as always. If we win, if we win games of this deck, it's gonna be because Loki deletes our deck, or maybe occasionally because Elsa like pops off or something. Oh, where's that Modoc now, dude? Where is our Modoc? No, we can discard a death here into the Hella, which I mean that's not terrible. 18 power, a little better than like passing into infinite, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really anticipate winning this, but they may not have their Ella though, so who knows? Ugh, that's not good. Okay. Yeah, that's for the Dracula. What's this? Oh, oh, no, only one card at a turn. Old Lockjaw got me there for a second. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I th this, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe this is just to be like a little bit more sure here, but then you're like not sure here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, I don't know. That's a good roll for the death. Uh oh, we need some absolute gig eye rolls here. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Giga high roll achieved. Let's freaking go. We win by one point. Let's go, dude. Loki stealing games. Who needs a hundred twenty dollar deck when a ten dollar deck will do fine? Loki is a deck all on his own. Uh, Zabus, a play. Phoenix Force on curve would actually be pretty decent. Yeah. Just, just a 3-5 kind of thing. Shame it's not really a 3-5 for the Silver Surfer. So the opponent either got a Surfer or a Hit Monkey. Oh, dang. Dang, that's legit for us. The peak is good. I can actually play Monkey Surfer next turn and win the kiln probably. And then maybe just try to win like Crimson Cosmos with like Black Panther. Even just into Modoc might be okay. I mean, I think we go for it, right? This is a monster play. I I mean, honestly, I, I think we could probably put the Silver Surfer over here, especially if we go like Panther Modoc, because the shard's gonna double this to 12. The monkey's already five. Like maybe we don't get too greedy. With four energy, how big can they get, I wonder? I don't know, man, this might backfire a little bit technically. But I think I think it's gonna be okay with that Daken. It does mean I kind of have to play the Modox. The only downside, well, not necessarily. If this gets big enough, anyway, I guess. I think this is pretty big in its own right. Um, okay, so Jeff is not enough to seal that, so they're gonna want to move that Jeff out, of course, which is awesome. Do we just stack right and then maybe play Modox mid? But Modox mid doesn't beat Jeff mid. It's the only problem. Like you kind of want to play the Ghost Spiders. Maybe you just play it on the Surfer. Just for a little bit of bonus power. And then we kind of decide, well, we don't need Modoc. We decided as well, right? So may, may change our play a little bit based on a top deck. I think spreading the power a hair though is, is valuable here. So keep in mind the opponent, like we said, might have a Surfer, but none of these get buffed by Surfer, thankfully. So that's not really a problem. Ooh, they don't have time to turn off kill and they're just going for Loki. Okay. I mean, their Loki's gonna give them a bunch of garbage mostly, right? Yeah, I mean, I think Modoc's fine. It's the most power I can get anyway, realistically. I mean, I guess technically this is seven if I don't think the Daken needs it, which I guess I don't think the Daken needs it because 12 should be their max there, right? I mean, do we have anything? Like we said, Silver Surfer from us, but that's about it. 
Makes it maybe a hit monkey, but that's hard for them to play mid. Am I maybe just safer actually just putting the Nimrod mid? Well, I mean, what do they have for my deck? Like, nothing good. Nothing good. And I just need to beat Jeff plus a thing. Jeff plus a Modoc, maybe. Jeff plus a Panther. That's 14. This is 16. Yeah, I think this should be fine. I mean, oh, dude, let's freaking go, dude. I, oh, my God, dude. Didn't even need my Loki to win. This Dakin Hitmonkey Surfer Peak was actually peak. That was kind of nuts. That was good. Okay. I mean, the card quality here is very high. I, I think you just go Elsa into Loki, honestly. Uh, Loki's going to go mid. We want the full hand size. I, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be distraught with these threes, if, even if we didn't hit a good Loki, right? But I think it's fine. Uh, oh, I should have put Elsa mid probably since Loki's going mid. This was maybe a bit of a mistake because I, I, I want to be able to proc that Elsa sooner rather than later, I think. Yeah, Loki can get buff. That's fine. Four cards hopefully is enough. Looks like maybe some destroy stuff. Cool looking Wolverine. Very fun. Red Stardust Flare. Okay, I wish I wish he would go left, but I don't think it works that way. Asteroid M's gonna steal him away. So, I mean, if we get a destroy deck, what are we looking for? Not Venom with Elsa, you know, not Carnage. We're looking for like playable stuff, maybe Dakin. Out of the top of my deck, what am I looking for? I don't know, I mean, I guess if we get some destroy stuff. Phoenix Force could be kind of cool. Way to res something back. Deathlock Bucky. Okay, that's actually a pretty good pair. Um, oh, it does work in order. Oh, sick. That's great news. It's less great for... How does this work? Does anybody know? Does this buff the Hulkbuster? I bet it does, right? Uh, we're gonna find out. I don't know. Somebody out there knows. I'm sure you're screaming either, no! Or yes, okay, yeah, one to eight. Sweet, it does work. That's awesome. Gives me an extra space for even more power. That's really cool. I mean, we may not need it. We're at 19 already there. That's insane. Uh, I also don't know how these are about to resolve. Like, Asteroid M and Asteroid M. Where does this deadlock go? <laughs> does he go mid or left? Like, this one was up first, but this one's right in, in, in the left to right order. So I don't know. I mean, I actually, don't, I actually don't think we even bother with that right now, right? I think we actually just make this Black Panther. And then we try to win with like death death lock I mean, we're already ahead here is the only thing so it's definitely a little bit of overkill but uh i don't know the opponent's not going to want to abandon this are they if i if i use my death lock now theoretically i can make death cheaper but i may not have time to play the black panther depending on top decks and stuff and the opponent may do it anyway i i'm gonna recommit i i, I don't know i feel like they're gonna want to add more power here Maybe Venom plus other stuff. I, I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous of something like a Knoll just coming in and owning that. Oh, the death moves. Oh, no. Are we not big enough? Wakanda forever. Oh! It's 35 to 33, bro. That is crazy. Okay. Oh, my God. Dude, just big enough. The Elsa coming in so clutch, dude. This Elsa has been worth a ridiculous amount of power. Galactus. No way. They win with the... No, wait. Wolverine's eight. They win 13 to 12. No. No. Unfreaking believable. Dude, if I had priority, that doesn't happen. Oh my God. How did I not have priority? We were just down a little too much mid. Down four mid and up two left. Oh my God, bro. That is a heartbreaker. All right, Ghost Spider. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna tempo the Ghost Spider. I have not been tempoing the Ghost Spider much and I kind of regret it because you really want to fill up for that Phoenix Force, I think. So let's try that. Okay, I mean, Hit Monkey, I think I said fill up for that Phoenix Force. I meant fill up for Elsa, obviously. Hit monkey into surfer is, you know, that's a thing. I I don't think it's a good thing. I'd rather have Dakin or, or, you know, something of that nature, obviously. Uh, 
Okay, the opponent is gonna be really mystified by that this decision, but it, it, it's the best play that I have. Oh, whoa. Oh, no! Not like this! Worst timing! Now, obviously, Dakin scales a lot better here, but do I need... I mean, honestly, like, Modoc plus whatever card can maybe win mid. Yeah, I, I, in other words, I don't think you need the Surfer. The Elsa does enough to make the Dakin win here. So I don't need to play Surfer first. I'm just going to go... I mean, I could technically still Surfer next turn if it makes more sense, like Surfer's Abu or something, if I get a good curve fit for it. But... Ultimately, the plus seven here should be enough to carry this, I hope. I mean, not always. This bounce decks can do crazy stuff, obviously. Um, yeah, we'll just go Panther Modoc. And actually, I hope we hit a Vibranium Mines. So that would be our strongest uh, out here. Will you ever go at this Bishop? Like, I'm only losing one power this turn and two power next turn, right? So I'd have like a six and an eight, a uh, six and a seven, 13. I don't want that vibranium mine's the only problem. Yeah, I don't know. I hope I hit a vibranium, dude. It would be my best hit. And I have four cards in decks. So it's actually not too bad. A little under 50% there to hit that, so. Not crazy to try for it. Nothing else is any good. I mean, I guess Nebula's plus one. Is there ever a world where I go Surfer instead of Modoc? Maybe if I hit a Loki? That puts nine power mid instead of eight for the Modoc. The Granium right, Killmonger, well, that's fine. We're protected against Killmonger, thankfully. Opponent is kind of ripping early on this like Sarah bouncy, you know, miracle -y deck. Hopefully that's, oh, nutty hit, nutty hit, okay. This is definitely it, I mean, we surely we win this, right? They, they gotta add 20 power laughter and let's say maybe 16. They don't have any cost discounts though I mean the vibranium are really cheap to be fair like you know three vibranium and a hit monkey could do some work But do they actually have three vibranium? They could I guess they could I think they played that Mysterio on four so drawn from uh Maybe they couldn't actually Draw one on five draw one on six they already played one so I, I don't know anyway It's not it's not impossible obviously to to do 20 in a bounce deck, but I think it seems hard. I think it seems hard. Hopefully this is enough too. 20 here. Shang-Chi, we dodge! They were counting on the Black Panther getting bigger. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that here. We don't, we, don't, we don't get bigger in this deck. Oh man, that's amazing. Let's go, easy game. I didn't even need the Vibranium it turns out, but it sure helped. It made me feel a lot safer. Okay, we'll definitely skip one. That's no problem. That actually makes our Phoenix Force a rock. Is that bad? That's not, it does let it move, so it's actually, I think, better than not having anything, yeah? So interesting question here. Do we actually maybe just keep the Zabu and play this Loki a turn early? Zabu can help with Loki, but if we're playing the Loki on three in particular, we probably have enough time anyway. I think we're just gonna chill. I might play Loki on three, I might not. It depends on if we get a Daken, maybe two. We, we definitely wait if we got a Daken. Nebula, I don't think I wait. Discard decks, we need some time. We need some time. Highbreaker is a really relevant con conversation here because of Rickety Bridge. So max power output's gonna be the goal in many cases. Oh, this is Lockjaw discard, okay. Bro. 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 <laughs> oh, wait, I guess we get Morbius too, huh? Oh, this costs zero. I can actually play it right. I was thinking I couldn't play it right, but I can. Oh, it could be Panther, I guess. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, he's discounted. I forgot he's discounted. Oh, is that worth the 50-50 or do I need to be careful? No, I, I don't have time to wait. I got to do it. I just got to hit it. Because if I play Panther on five, I don't have time anyway, so it doesn't matter. We just gotta hit it. We gotta get lucky here. Yes, let's go. <clears throat> They've got it too. Are they gonna hit Giganto as well? Wow, dude, same place. That's cool. Literally the exact same. Remember, Logi doesn't give us their hand. It just gives us random cards. It's kind of crazy that we got the exact same set of stuff there. 
I mean, I, I ultimately I do think this is just about total power output. Feels like blade plus. Well, I need something to go mid though. Actually, now that I say that, shoot, that they they were pretty heads up putting that black knight there, because right now I don't have any small thing to play there, and I'm not actually ever going to top deck one either. Because, well, I guess Elsa exactly would be small enough, because I want to play Modok. Yeah, that's actually tough. I mean, I guess I could have put my Black Knight there. That was pretty heads up by them, honestly. I'm, I'm impressed. Didn't feel like it was the right decision yet, but it might have been. Actually, it might have been. Draculeon, they discarded the blade. Are they really going to try to top deck a Hella right now? Oh, this feels terrible. Oh, oh, they didn't. They, I guess they were trying to top deck Hella and didn't. Okay. This felt really bad, but I actually think it was probably enough. They lost their blade. The odds of them having a really big play to outpace us here when we're adding another six to Morbius. Even though we're losing eight here, I mean, we're only down one here. We're already up eight and we're adding six. So we're, you know, at 14 point net here. Were they going to be able to add 14 points in this scenario? I, I don't think so. All right. Um, Elsa is actually pretty insane in Shuri's lab, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's start building up a Shuri's lab. Maybe we could have played the Ghost Rider on curve because well, we usually have a gap on four. It'll be all right. But Black Panther there kind of carries that. Do we still need to Elsa it for the Black Panther or does the Black Panther alone, we think, carry it at 16? I mean, 16 definitely doesn't feel like it's enough, but I also have to win another location. So maybe I still need to respect Nita Valir with the Elsa. Uh-oh, they got their own Elsa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, do they have their own Black Panther? Probably not, but I bet they got other good things, too. <laughs> it's not that simple, is it? All right, yeah, we'll draw two cards. That's cool. It's going to help make a Loki potentially possible and maybe way better. Uh Oh, draw a card. I, I know how to read, I promise. Do we like Loki better than... Shuri's lab on average four cards it's often a bunch of stones which are notably free which is cool but there's not much else I I think we have to try though we're just not not gonna be good enough otherwise Eliath dang that's cool Yeah, I kind of I think I maybe kind of screwed up my Elsa lines a little is the only thing like we're just really not playing much to Shuri's lab here All right, spider-man go get him buddy. I don't know. Don't go left because you're kind of wasted. Ah, shoot Oh god, I'm an idiot. I'm actually a moron I'm actually just an actual idiot. Uh, I'm I mean, I'm a total actual moronic idiot Dude, this almost wins, by the way. Can I just win with Eliath, though? Because Eliath is cheese. <laughs> like, do I still just win? Oh, man. I don't know, dude. If I cheese this with Eliath, I'm going to feel real bad. Dude. <laughs> dude, no. Dude. I hate this card so much, dude. I absolutely hate this card so much, dude. <laughs> dude, I have no business. Absolutely zero business winning this game. This was the stupidest play. Dude, Eliath is so stupid. I, I, I'm sorry. I hate the way that card is designed. I just don't enjoy it at all.